It is May 2022 and we have just released a major update for Edge Wong 3, which I will show you in this video. So first of all, we have finally expanded our custom statistics and whereas previously you were able to tag 11 custom stats per trade, now you can tag up to 20 custom stats. So when you open a trade and go to advanced trade data, you will now be able to add new slots here. So whereas previously it was limited to 11, now you can see we have added new slots and you can tag more custom stats. Of course, then when you go to your settings and open the custom stats, now you can find the new slots here and you can manage them as well here, add the new heading for your custom stats and manage them very effectively. The second feature also very sought after are the trading plans. So before you take a trade, you will often like to plan your trade in advance. So here we have a new menu item, trading plans. And if you don't see this menu item in your journal, just clear your browser cage and then it should usually come up right away. This sometimes happens after we have updated the journal and your browser doesn't have the newest version. And here you can basically add a trade before it happens, very similar to how you do it in your journal. So when you add a trade, you will see that you have a few input fields, such as the entry date. You can also just use the date when you are creating the trading plan. It will automatically pull in the current time, then the instrument, the setup, choose whether it's a long or a short buy or sell. You can add notes. You can also add advanced trade data, such as the custom stats. And you can already also add a screenshots before the trade is happening, which is very helpful later on. Then you have two options. You can either move the trade to your trading journal or you can move it to the missed trades. And that's where this column comes in. So when you hover over the two icons, you can see transfer to the journal or transfer to missed trades. So you click on it, you'll be asked, do you really want to transfer to the journal? And then you can confirm that. The same happens when you want to transfer to the missed trades. Another update happened in the chart book. And now you can see that we are splitting the chart book in three different parts. Whereas previously you would only be able to see the journal trades in your chart book. Now we also added the screenshots for the missed trades and also for the trading plans. You can also take them on and off here with the drop down menu. Besides those three new features, we also worked on a lot of bug fixes and we really want to thank you for all of the great support and for reaching out and really helping us keep improving Edgewonk. With your help, we have been able to identify a lot of small bugs and we have been able to fix already a lot. If you find anything and if you come across anything, make sure to reach out and we are always very happy to help out and we are releasing constantly new updates to improve your Edgewonk experience. Currently, one of our priorities is improving our import capabilities, which means that first of all, for the existing import features and the supported platforms, we are fixing a few bugs and inconsistencies that we have been able to identify with your help. And also we are adding new platform supports. And that's it for our May update 2022. I hope you enjoy the new features. Let us know in the comments below what you think about it, what you would like to see in the next updates, and we look forward to hearing from you. Happy journaling.